everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramph. That was Asaf Adonai on piano. Asaf, what song is that? That is a song called Mayberry RFD. Nice. It sounds yep. like a nice little spring song. <laughs> well, welcome to the, the last Best Morning Show. The yes. only show where we talk about Missoula, either directly or indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> either way, it's all about Missoula. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a great show for you guys. Yeah. Today we've got Jordan Lyons on from Missoula Aging Services. He's going to talk about estate planning. Yep. Yeah, which is for everyone, not just for old people. So, um, Noelle, will you plan for the future or will you not plan for? I'll probably <laughs> plan for the future. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Yes. But after some, after I graduate, yes. I'm gonna graduate college first, and then I'll plan for my future. Now I'm wondering, will I talk about city council today, or will I not? Oh, Ooh. you both. Uh, I, I'm going nowhere with this. So let's talk about some weather right now. Oh, great. Yep. So today it is currently 25 degrees outside. You can expect your high to be about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, your lows can be 34, but of course you have a 30% chance of rain. Um, Thursday you have a 20% chance slight rain, which is going to be partly sunny. Thursday night's going to be mostly cloudy with a low of 34, of course. Friday, you're going to high of a high of 61 degrees, wow. and hopefully spring will start kicking in by the end of the week. Yeah, and it for the kind weekend. of seems that way. 55 and 60s. Oh, wait, I've got the snow report. Oh. Yes. So if we take a look at um, our snow report, even though spring is coming, we're still having snow. Yeah. So whitefish just got uh, 7 inches in the past 72 hours. Blacktail has got 4 inches in the past 24 hours. Snowball has got 0 inches. Uh, Lost Trail, 0 inches. And Discovery, 3 inches in the past 72 hours. Cool. So, we still have snow in our mountains. And I do believe that there's only another week or two left of our ski season. So get out there, everyone. It's going to be beautiful. Yep. Hey, um, Noelle, you know, you do know uh, as a fact that if it rains here in the valley, it snows yeah. up in the mountain. It sure does. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, but it's getting so warm <laughs> during the day that's making the snow melt and be yeah. all slushy this bad ski. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of like rice snow or corn snow, they call it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. It's but of course, um, to find out more information, go to... Wake Up Missoula. No, On The Snow. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. To, uh, you know. So to find out more information about the ski report, you can just go to On The Snow and just type in Montana. And you can and go to the uh, National Weather Service by typing in National Weather Service in any of your search engines. But of course, I'll just say Google, since you'll probably just use Google anyways. Yeah. Okay. You type so, it in Google. And the easiest way to find Wake Up Missoula is to go find us on Google, Wake Up Missoula. But of course, you can also go to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You could like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook and to find out more information about MCAT, just go to MCAT.org. Yes, and of course, as the weather gets nicer and nicer, we have smaller and smaller groups, and we're still looking for kids who are interested in stop animation, so we do that every Saturday from 1 to 5. Yes, so we do. Think Here about it. If you know any kids, neighborhood kids, you just yell at them and say, hey, get hey. off my lawn and go to... <laughs> Stop animation, drop Stop in. smoking those cigarettes. I think, you know what we should do in the oh, future for the, when we bring back stop animation drop-ins? It shouldn't be uh, like stop animation. It should be just like MCATS drop-ins. Yeah. And then that way we can mixture of stop animation stations and, and some live, live action, action stuff. I agree, I agree. Because yeah. that's what we already do. We make them do stop motion for about two hours and we do the live action because they get burnt out. And I have really a, a very special uh, live action video from our stop animation drop-in from right. Saturday. And I'm going to show that for you guys today. Okay. And we have Hallmark or Bullmark. It's where I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie. Or do I? And you guys have to determine whether or not it's a real movie yeah. on Hallmark Channel. Or it's complete Bullmark. Bullmark. Yep. Pretty That's much. why it's called Bull Hallmark or Bullmark. And I'm excited. It's pretty fun. It's a good one. It's a, Scott seems to be very excited. I'm very excited. Because I beat you guys last week. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to think <laughs> about it or talk about it. I. Uh, that's why I've been sleeping so well. That's why you've been sleeping so well? Oh my gosh. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No, it's not but that dumb. Hopefully, uh, Asaf and I can prevail this week. All right. Yes. Uh, we do have Art Clip, and of course, we do have some new programming okay. happening today and tomorrow. And of course, Noel heard me laughing because it's hilarious. We have some <laughs> really funny stuff. Um, this is the Academic World Quest. This was shot by our very own Sam Tolman. And of course, uh, we have the. Um, the Bonner Mill History Lecture Series, and it's uh, apparently it's part 22. Oh my God! <laughs> part 22 of the Bonner Mill Lecture Series. Well, they do oh. they do three every year, so it's it, it's a, a sim, it symbols our commitment to filming their um, historic, uh, you know, 
Yeah. And they do this pretty much uh, once a month on Sundays at their um, church next to the school. It's 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 like their first met. It's like uh, Saint Lu Saint Sarah's or Saint uh, Catherine um, Lutheran Church. And, oh, okay. Yeah, it's great. they do it, and it's a great history of the Bonner Mill town because they have a lot of great history about logging, uh, firefighting, mills, um, smoke towns. jumpers, and yeah, their, their town is a lot has a lot of character, and it's definitely one of those diamonds in the rough, and it's going to be growing. And Scott's going to move there soon. I will move there. Maybe someday. <laughs> maybe East Missoula. I, 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 I don't want to live there. I, I'd visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah, I understand. Like, no, nothing against Bonner, but, you know, it's Bonner. And anybody in Bonner, in Bonner would be like, oh, yeah, that totally makes sense why he doesn't want to move here. So, yeah, 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 I understand that. It's, it's totally cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. You're cool. <laughs> but without further ado, we have here's uh, some brand new programming um, happening tonight and tomorrow night on MCAT. And when we come back, we'll have Jordan Lyons on. Well, good afternoon. What a lovely audience today. It's probably the nicest looking audience I've seen all day. About another round of applause for the governor and the provost, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. So as I tell the audience every year when you go home, so how many of you are not from Missoula? Just raise your hand for me, would you please? Fantastic. All right. So when you go home, please tell the people you see that you were in Missoula, you saw the mayor, he was not wearing Birkenstocks, and he did not appear to be smoking marijuana. Just tell the people back home that that's what happened. It'll be a surprise for everyone. Trust me. Talk. <laughs> Supposedly it's on Forest Service. It was an old, it was an old claim, but it's, claim. yeah, it's not in, I mean, yeah, well, catch me later, because, yeah, we want to go, um, but supposedly it's across the creek. We got to, yeah, and all that stuff, but anyway. But we just see that stuff. I mean, my, I mean, I just, yeah, this is too cold to just let it rot away. So, but, so. Like you need another project. Yeah, I could do. Yeah, but. Hey, we're back here with Jordan Lyons, and he's here to talk about estate planning from the Missoula Asian Service, and he's the educator, educating coordinator. Right. So, my, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So, will you tell me more about estate planning? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so. Um, you know, as you might know, Missoula Aging Services promotes the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. And one, one way we do that is by um, helping people understand their options in terms of estate planning. And um, that's something that is a, it's a tricky subject. It's something that is, can get pretty complicated. Um, but it's something that really everybody needs to think about, every adult and every family, not just, not just very rich people or anything like that. And so um, that's why we're working with uh, University of Montana's Geriatric Education Center to present um, an event called Estate Planning for Everybody that has that, has that message with, with Dr. Marcia Getting from the uh, MSU Extension Office, who's a real expert on estate planning. Cool. Nice. Well, can you um, tell us um, when these classes are being held? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so they're on uh, April 12th, and we've got two sessions, and so people can either come to one at 1 o'clock or at 4 o'clock. And so it's about a two-hour session, and they're at uh, Missoula Public Library. Cool. Is this for um, people age like 55 and up, or is this kind of like for all ages? You know, I think it's going to be of, um, you know, like many things we do, it's going to be... Um, of special interest to older adults, but um, it really is for everybody. And and um, you know we're not we're not screening people out or anything like that. We are asking for people to sign up in advance because um, space is limited for that. So um, we've got a couple ways people can do that. They can get on our website at estateplanningforeverybody.eventbrite.com, or they can just give us a call at seven two eight seven six eight two. What can people expect from these classes? Good question. So. Um, you know, like I said, estate planning can get pretty complicated, and um, one one thing they'll they'll do in the class is Marsha will ask the crowd a question about, you know, here's a situation where you've got these people and you know their kids and grandkids and you know these people divorced and you know and then if they died without a will, who would get their estate? And um, mm. people can actually That's vote. True. Yeah, and and I mean it's amazing. They're I mean they're so tricky. They they can be really complicated. So it just kind of gives people a a basic idea of um, you know what would happen if they if they didn't make plans and why they should do that, right. and then some of the tools they have to um, to make sure their their estate goes where they want it to go, and with a minimum of time tied up in probate. 
Yeah, and yeah. Uh, with a lot of this, there's always like, uh, you know, sometimes people do it on their own and they hire mm -hmm. a lawyer mm -hmm. and then they try to, you know, like figure out a, a nice, you know, a nice plan and get a nice thing going. And sometimes people just don't bother doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's even a lot of issues. Um, can you talk about some of the, um, some of the things that could happen if they actually don't plan for the future and then... Sure, yeah, and and you you brought up a lot of great points with that and, and I think that um, even after attending this, some people are gonna work with an attorney and that's that's fine, but you know, this is still a nice way to like, you don't have to go in and like pay by the hour to ask the attorney your estate planning 101 types of questions, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, and you know, there, there are, um, yeah, Marsha, Dr. Dr. Marsha Getting will share some horror stories in that presentation of, you know, people their their money didn't go where they where they meant for it to go, or they, um, you know, they gifted money in a way that impacted their eligibility for Medicaid to pay for a nursing home. Mm. So there, you know, there are some kind of pitfalls, um, and so it's really important to um, to get a grasp of at least the basics to get some peace of mind. Does yeah, it, definitely. It, uh, the, I definitely love the Missoula Agent Service because it, it basically enlightens a lot of people who are in that range of like, not necessarily in nursing homes, but like going towards their golden years of life. And there, a lot of times it's like, it's nice to know, um, you know, if that their children are being taken care of a lot of times. Right, um, yeah, ex absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, and um, yeah, I mean, those are difficult decisions, you know, to weigh out you know, how to prioritize your own care, um, your kids, you know, especially if you have, you know, some people have might have a, a special needs, adult child, or, you know, and I mean, there are a lot of different situations that can, they can throw a lot of little wrinkles in there. Yeah. But uh, so um, one more time, um, when and um, where are these classes for the estate planning? Yeah, so it's, it's estate planning for everybody, April 12th at one o'clock or four o'clock. It's, you know, same program, whichever one you go to at Missoula Public Library, and people can sign up by going to estateplanningforeverybody.eventbrite.com, or they can just give us a call at 728-7682. Cool. Awesome. Is there anything you. else you want to touch base on before you go? Um, you know, that's that's all I got for right now, but uh, yeah, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate awesome. it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jordan. Sure thing. We'll be right back after this. Yo, yo, it's Wednesday. Uh. So what do you got? Do you have any uh, big plans for the next two days? Oh yeah. my god, no. I need to like recover from my weekend and do my homework. <laughs> I've just been a terrible student this week. Uh, spring break is next week, so I'm kind of just like checked out. And yeah. then I graduate five weeks after well, that. So the nice just, thing about the nice thing about being a senior is that at the beginning of the year, you're just like, this is all your assignments. These are all your papers. Yeah. Do it at your own leisure, which it's totally true. encourages you to deal with Just some senioritis. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've got the worst. My vo motivation is out the window. I've got such a hardcore senioritis. They need like I work uh, every day. Like they need. Uh, you know, what would be a, t a really good selling class, like mm -hmm. a senioritis class. Yes, it would. It was like it would be, instead of like you know they have estate planning for seniors, yeah. and then you have. Uh, 
future planning for seniors. Yeah. I, like senior uh, students, not senior citizens. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Senior Because you're students. technically a senior. I'm a senior. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I'll, I'll watch out for your money. Oh, I'll go to estate planning. Yeah, yes. thanks, Scott. I'm going to leave all my money to Scott. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, I'll use this as a legal representation. <laughs> yeah, I no, 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 no. <laughs> Scratch that from the record. Scratch that from the record. <laughs> it's been struck in from the record. <laughs> Oh man. Well, I've got some events going on for you guys. So this is what's going on in your community today. Uh, we start at 11 a.m. with our, uh, you know, one of our favorite things, preschool playgroup over at Roots Acro Sports Center. It's uh, ages walking to five years and they just set up different activities and stations around the gym and parents and children get to choose what they want to do. And then we head over to Spectrum Discovery Area where the Discovery Bench is Astrobiology, the Brain Lab, or Senses. And then, oh man, da -da 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 -da, my own camera. Okay. okay, so then we're still at Spectrum Discovery Area, but they've got their science routes. And this is for children uh, three years and younger to explore science, and uh, or two to five, two to five, sorry. And they're talking about night sky. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. Over at Children's Museum, Children's Museum of Missoula, they're having fuzzy friends with pet nebula. It starts at 11, so you can pet some pets be pretty cool. Yeah, pets and pets, you know, you got it. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they are doing a class. It's called Stream Your Music. You have to have basic computer skills before you sign up for this, but it's from 1230 to 1.30. Um, and you can learn the basics of streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. You know what I learned, want to learn from Spotify is how you get it off the computer desktop when it, people open it, you know? Yeah. When people add Spotify on our computers over here, mm -hmm. like um, Mason, uh, <laughs> it's like I, I turn on the computer, Spotify opens right up. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> so I literally like went through all the computers and deleted all the Spotify. So you don't need to go. Oh, it's true. Ridiculous. I don't know. So I'd rather like go to class like how to eliminate Spotify than anything else. I love Spotify though. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's a cool I'm thing. I'm all about iHeartRadio. You heart ra I heart radio? What is that? I have no idea. Oh. They advertise it all the time. It's like oh. iHeartRadio. <laughs> iHeartRadio. Hi, I'm Katy Perry. I heart radio. It's like what does that That's mean? That's what Katy Perry does that sounds mean that like you to like me. The radio? I I heart radio. <laughs> Uh, I'm Drew Barrymore. I heart radio. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just means that they love listening to the radio. Uh, no, it's it's like I, I like iPhone, iPad, I heart radio. That's what it is. That's yeah. stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, they just had an uh, I heart award show. What does that mean? It's all right. That's weird. Yeah. Well, Scott. <laughs> You should do some reporting on that and let us know. I will do some reporting and I'll tell you exactly how to remove all your crappy um, I heart I hearts, I heart <laughs> Spotify's and I heart um, apples, I heart pads, I heart everything. You remove it. Mac Keeper, Mac Keeper is the Trapper worst. Trapper Keepers. Um, yeah. That's about it. Okay, we're moving on now. It's great. <laughs> the uh, Bono album that he gave away. <laughs> oh, the Bono album, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people can hack. Bono just hacked all your iPhones. That was hilarious when that happened. When everyone Bono just got forced, I Bono. Um, Bono forced his album onto everyone, yeah. and everyone's like, "Come on, Bono, you're old." No, it's done. Bono <laughs> did it, done. and then iTunes. It was iTunes. Everyone thinks it's Bono's part, but it's iTunes. Part. And then, and then, didn't so who gave a tutorial on how to remove it? Uh, the band, another band. Yeah, another it's band. It's like um, Arcade Fighter. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave a tutorial on how to remove it, which is funny <laughs> as well. Yeah. Because Arcade Fire is like the hipster version of the Wu-Tang Clan, where it's like constantly changing members and they all look <laughs> like hipsters. What? I'm just saying. I didn't I call it like I see it. Arcade Fire. Come on, Arcade Fire. We're calling you out. <laughs> Get you some legit members. Yeah. Okay, now we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing that can be heard in the all of Wicca Missoula is, is scratching Asaph's of... Is Asaph's coloring. Yeah, I'm just getting my notes ready. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. We have a lot to talk about for musical notes, but of course we have to get to it. I know. Okay, everyone, now we're really moving on. <laughs> Legitly moving on. Okay, <laughs> so... You know the thing is, no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, over Peaceful Heart Yoga, they parent yoga for you while your kids play. So you can, like, put your kids in a corner, they can play with some games, and if they're acting up, you can go over there and discipline them while you're doing yoga. Or, you know, you can just, like, hang out with them and stuff like that. Yeah, I just love is, that picture. This is the photo. She's just like really in with her kids. Mom! Mom. Bex! Mom! Mommy! 
Who's Bex? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one of the chickens. <laughs> but see, there she is, just like doing yoga with her Fitbit and her groceries. She loves bread. It's got some a giraffe hanging off of her. She's a one great mother. Yeah. Yeah. That's Look at that wave in her hair. Yeah. <laughs> that wave in her hair. I know. She's got her hair. Good. Her hair's a lot of volume for a long. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I can never figure out what our cameras are. Her hair does have a ton of volume for a mom. She's a great mom. She's a, she's a hot mom. All right. I okay. think she does hot yoga. <gasps> well, her kids. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move okay, on. We, we gotta really move do on. gotta do this. Okay. So, over at the Missoula Public Library at 2 p.m., they have their open hours in the maker space. That is until 2 to 6. You can go in there and check things out or work on a project of your choice. Up next, over the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, they have an insects versus spiders art project. You can go in there and learn about their day, their divergent anatomical functions. Um, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got middle school writers. This is a writing group for grades six through nine to uh, give and get good feedback and play with words and, you know, don't get in any trouble. Top Hat Lounge at 4.30 has got Celebrating the Music of Fish. They have got an audio show, um, happy hour, trivia, everything revolving with a new jam band, Fish. Every Wednesday. Over at Taste Buds Kitchen at 4.30 for ages 2 to 6, um, they've got a quiche workshop. Only costs $20. Up next is a event called Dinner with the Director. It's at the Missoula Public Library. It starts at 5.30. And so, uh, let's see, let me, um, so they're pretty much going to be having a special dinner with the director and artist, Abby Miller. So Abby has an installation um, at the Missoula Art Museum. So, to find out more information about this very vague thing I'm talking about, 728-0447, extension 277. Over at the University of Montana, um, in the James E. Todd building, they have got a Ready, Set, Write course. So uh, this is put on by the uh, Lifelong Learning Center. It will teach you how to compose a book you've always dreamed about writing. Over at the Missoula Public Library, there's jewelry work making workshop in the makerspace. Um, that is going on from 6 to 7.30. Over in the Gallagher Business Building in room 123 at the University of Montana is a global, global public health lecture series that starts at 6.30. Are you doing that? No. Uh -uh. Um, and then over at the Roxy Theater at 7, they've got a movie. It's called, uh, they have a movie series for dedicated to the LGBT community and oh, geared towards yeah. movies about them. And so it's called We Were Here. Um, and it's about a reflective look at the arrival and impact of AIDS in San Francisco and how individuals rose to the occasion during the first years of this un unimaginable crisis. Which I can only imagine how terrifying that was because no one even knew what AIDS was. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have got some musical events. Uh, so there is some karaoke at the Sunrise at 8.30. There's karaoke at the Eagles at 8.30. Karaoke at the Badlander at 9. Uh, a band called Lyrics Born. They're hip-hop. They're going to be at Top Hat Lounge at 9. And then Rockin' Country Karaoke is going to be at the Sunrise Saloon at 9 p.m. as well. So that's what I've got for you guys um, for your uh, Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. Up next, we have a stuff segment. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a delightful story. Before there was our guest on today's musical notes, there was Marilyn Monroe. Of course, we're not talking about Marilyn Monroe, but we're talking about our guest who's credited with being the best Marilyn Monroe in history. Since in fact, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, since the real Marilyn Monroe. And um, in fact, our guest beat out hundreds of people for this particular version in this $3.5 million production of Marilyn, The Untold Story. And our guest also earned an Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Lead Actress in this particular film, the portrayal of the legendary star. And of course, our guest is Catherine Mary Hicks, known to the world as Catherine Hicks. Catherine Hicks is an American television film and stage actress, best known for playing Annie Camden on the long-running television series Seventh Heaven. And she looks very lovely there as a young woman. Other notable work, she played Dr. Faith Coolidge on a soap opera called Ryan's Hope from 1976 to 78. And she was, again, Emmy nominated. And 
her most iconic role, which we'll see the clip in a moment, playing Dr. Jillian Taylor on the Star Trek number four, The Voyage Home in 1986. And if we have that clip, let's show her in action. You want to try it from the top? Why don't you tell me when those whales are leaving? <sighs> Who are you? Who do you think I am? Don't tell me. You're from outer space. No, I'm from Iowa. I only work in outer space. Oh, well, I was close. I mean, I knew outer space was going to come into this sooner or later. The truth? Oh, I am all ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The truth. In this scene here, she's about to find out that Captain Kirk is from the future. See, basically for those who haven't seen this, this film, um, the whales are extinct in the future. And so there's a probe from a planet that's destroying the Earth looking for whales. So Captain Kirk goes back in time. He meets this biologist here. And their goal or their mission is to take two humpback whales, bring them back into the future and repopulate the species so that the Earth doesn't get destroyed. It's one of those like, you know, uh, American uh, geo animal episodes. Anyway, that's the synopsis. So in this scene here, um, she's learning that Captain Kirk is from the future, and of course she goes into the future with him, and they save the wells and save the Earth. <laughs> that's a short synopsis. But finally, um, Catherine Hicks is a graduate of Cornell University with a master's of fine arts degree. She landed her first job like Mark Goddard. Remember when I talked about him? He goes to Hollywood, gets a job like a week later. Well, the same thing happened with her. Two weeks later, she landed her role in Ryan's Hope and the rest is history for her. And um, also in 2005, she appeared in a national public service announcement for Catholic Relief Services. And she also received the 2006 Pedro Pio Award for the Capuchin Franciscan friars for her efforts in Catholic relief for the Darfur. Remember when all that uh, those people were being slaughtered and starving out there? Mm -hmm. Well, Catherine Hicks was instrumental to the Catholic, Catholic Relief Service helping those people that were suffering out there. And so that's why I decided to do a story on our guest today. And I think she's a wonderful actress. And you'll either like her in Seventh Heaven or Star Trek IV, whatever yeah. your preference is. Nice. Thanks, Asa. Sure. Well, that was Musical Notes with Asa Flatter Night. All right. Up next, we've got um, some events for Thursday. I keep forgetting that today's Wednesday. Um, okay. Over at the Providence Center, starting at 10 a.m., is our NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting. This is for anyone affected by mental illness or learning about NAMI. Um, over at Baskin Robbins, they've got an ice cream celebration. They're celebrating the 31 original flavors at Baskin Robbins. So you can enjoy a single scoop for $1.31 at 1880 Brick Street starting at 11 a.m. That yep. sounds wild. Plus the eight extra sorbet options. Yes. <laughs> Baskin Robbins is great. Um, over at Spectrum Discovery Area, their Discovery Bench is Chromatography and their Brain Lab is Wiggling Worms. Starts at 11. And then, oh man, we jump ahead all the way to 3 p.m. So you guys can take happens, a little nap. Yeah. You can take a little nap. Um, over at the Missoula Insectarium, we've got an early out activity, an anthropod obstacle course. So let's see. You can uh, learn. Let, they're going to do a live moving. Cool. They're going to be, you know, doing some obstacle courses and some yeah. cool stuff. Okay, great. So there's the three. So you can uh, run around when you get out of school. And then at 3.30 over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got Lego Club. Uh, this is uh, a children under 12 need to be accompanied by an adult, but they provide Lego and Duplo pieces for you. So it's at 3.30. Um, over at the Missoula Insectarium at 3.30 as well, they've got their spider feeding. They're feeding Rosie the Chilean rosehair tarantula. Um, over at the Missoula YMCA, they've got family fun time at the Y starting at 4.30. This is a... Uh, it's $17 for a family without a membership, but if you have a membership, it's included. They set up nice, comfy chairs for parents and the different activities for kids. Over at La Grotta Bella, which is underneath the Old Post Pub, they've got their downtown drop-in wine tasting. Uh, this starts at 5, and it's $12.50. That's the cost of it. It costs $12.50. It used to be $10, but the word on the street is it's $12.50. And it's a minimum of four wines and a different theme each week. 
over at Jeanette Rink at Peace Center, they've got a Peace Corps service panel. Um, so you can, if you're thinking about volunteering or want to volunteer in the Peace Corps, you can hear from several people that have gone through it and hear about their experiences and whether it'll confirm or deny your. You it's know. a two-year commitment. Yeah, it really is. Um, and then over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a class at 6 p.m. It's called, Is College Right for Me? So this class will talk about what college is like, how to be successful, and where you can find resources and support for your educational goals. I think that that's a great class because college is really hard. And if you're not like committed to do it, don't, don't. do it. It's a waste of money if you don't know what you're doing. Yep, it is. Listen to the voice of reason from yeah. above. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say this. <laughs> <laughs> Who, is Who is that? You know what? I'm sitting right next to you. Oh, oh, God. When I get my own camera, I don't really know what's going on. Besides beyond, <laughs> yeah. you, nothing happens beyond this box. No. It's just me. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on, everyone. Step to step. I hope that's our thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me, like, in my hands right here. Just hold it long enough just so maybe it'll it be. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> We're I feel, I feel like Andy thumbnail. Warhol. I think that'll be good. That'll be our thumbnail. Yeah, that's our thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. So over the Good Food Store, they've got a cooking class, a rubber sleeve, a hands-on sushi. So you can go over there, spend thirty-five dollars, and learn how to make some sushi. So it's at six thirty tomorrow. And then we head over to REI. Uh, also at 6.30, they've got a Camp Cooking Basics. You can register at REI.com slash Missoula, where they're just going to be talking to you about camp, you know, cooking and while you're camping, and what you need and supplies you need and what's good to bring and what's not good to bring. Over at the Sunrise Saloon, they've got country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark starting at 7 p.m., and it's uh, only $5 per lesson. And then we have some music. Uh, Julie Bug in the Northern Exposure is also at the Sunrise Saloon at 8 p.m., so you can get some country dance lessons at 7, and then show them off at 8. Uh, open mic at the Eagles at 8.30. Chuck Reagan is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge at 9. Um, open mic at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hipster at the Badlander at 9. And then karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9 p.m. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the Independent, the University of Montana website, and the newspaper. Cool. Yeah. For your more events, I normally, when I get my events and I talk about them on our morning show, I always get them from MissoulaEvents.net. It's a really nice, handy little website, and it has everything color-coded. So if you're looking just for something for education, or just something for kids, or just something for cooking, it'll have it all color-coded. It's nice and easy for you. Yeah. All right. I just have a couple uh, clips from the city council, and of course, these are proclamations that are um, that are happening. These are special proclamations, and the very first one is National Healthcare Access Personnel Week. This is for the healthcare workers who are very so accessible to some of the people that need it most of all. And awesome. here is Mayor John Engen reading it. Whereas those who serve in hospitals have a major responsibility to the welfare of our community, and whereas the access department is most often the patient's introduction to the hospital, plays an integral role in serving as a goodwill ambassador and becomes a major referral center for both patients and hospital personnel, and whereas the success of the hospital access department could not have been achieved without the contributions and dedication of all access personnel, and whereas the National Association of Health Care Access Management was officially organized on April 5th, 1974, in order to promote high standards, provide leadership and guidance for access professionals and foster cooperation and knowledge, and whereas it is most appropriate to set aside a special time to recognize the contributions of hospital access personnel and acknowledge the good work and conscientious attitude of all access personnel at Providence St. Patrick Hospital, and now therefore I, John Ng, and Mayor of the City of Missoula in the state of Montana do hereby proclaim April 3rd through 9th, 2016 as National Health Care Access Personnel Week. All right, but of course that isn't the only proclamation yeah. for we got this <laughs> next one which highlights the Mayor's Day of Recognition for National Service. Great, man. Yep. These are these are good things to proclamate. Whereas, folks, the nation's mayors are increasingly turning to national service and volunteerism as a cost-effective strategy to, uh, to meet city needs, and whereas AmeriCorps and Senior Corps address the most pressing challenges facing our cities and nation in educating students for the jobs of the 21st century and supporting veterans and military families to preserving the environment and helping communities uh, recover from natural disasters, and whereas national service 
expands economic opportunity by creating more sustainable, resilient communities and providing education, career skills, and leadership abilities for those who serve and whereas national service participants in more than 70,000 locations across the country, bolstering uh, civic, neighborhood, and faith-based organizations, and whereas the Corporation for National and Community Service shares a priority with mayors nationwide to engage citizens, improve lives, and strengthen communities, and is joining with mayors in support of the Mayor's Day of Recognition for National Service, representing a unique public-private partnership that invests in community solutions. Now, therefore, I, John Ingen, Mayor of the City of Missoula and the State of Montana, do hereby proclaim April 5th, uh, 2016 as the Mayor's Day of Recognition for National Service. I agree. All right. So Great. of course. Oh, you know what? There's one more, and here is the next one. It oh is, my God! Uh, but it's uh, let's bring it back down and be okay. a little more serious because this is a serious issue. This is Child Abuse Awareness Awareness Month, and of course, it's coming up. It should be starting in April, and this is uh, the last proclamation by Mayor Johnny. Folks, whereas Montana has 220,000 children who count on us to protect them and help them grow into the healthy, happy, productive people they're meant to be, and whereas exposure to extreme and sustained stress like child abuse and neglect, indifference and violence can devastate a child's development, and whereas child abuse prevention is a community responsibility and finding solutions depends on involvement among all people, and whereas communities must make every effort to promote programs that benefit children and their families, and whereas investing in strengthening families is investing in community and economic development because flourishing families are the foundation of a thriving society and children's well-being, and whereas preventing child abuse means stopping it before it starts, uh, quote, it is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men, end quote. That was Frederick Douglass. Now, therefore, I, John Ingen, Mayor of the City of Missoula, in the state of Montana, do hereby proclaim the month of April 2016 in Missoula as Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month. And those, folks. All right. I so like that quote he put in there. Good job, nice Mayor. Quote. That was sure. nice. Okay. And, of course, it's mean in... My personal um, opinion that doesn't reflect the same as it is very important that um, if there, if you do see child abuse or any kind of reflection of that, say something because not saying anything is just as bad as the abuse happening to the child. I agree. All right. So moving on to our next uh, segment, uh, I have a very special, oh. and I'm going to get my um, across the bar face ready for Hallmark or Fullmark. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, I'm ready. All okay. right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Scott got a good night of sleep last night. I'll see. <laughs> Hit it ASAP. Molly and Ryan share a profound friendship their, their first semester in college. At their favorite bookstore and coffee shop, The Bridge, they spend countless hours studying and inspiring the other to dream. But can Molly and Ryan's unspoken love survive the expectations of others as to what their lives should ultimately be? And this movie is called The Bridge. And not to be confused with The Bridge Pizza, because in this one it's The Bridge Coffee Shop. So just clearing that out, just so you guys know. Hmm. Oh, so, um,. The idea of this game is that I read a Hallmark original movie, or do I, or, uh, sorry, I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I, and you guys have to determine whether or not it's real or it's not. Okay, I'm going to say uh, Hallmark. You're going to say it's Hallmark? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say Bullmark. You're going to say Bullmark. Yeah. Well, ASAP, uh, <laughs> you're wrong. It oh, okay. is a Hallmark original movie. Nice. You got me. Yep. Yeah. But of course, to capitalize on this, let's go to the sequel. Seven years later, with Ryan returning home from being on the road, touring as a professional singer, and Molly working at her father's corporation, they both receive devastating news regarding their favorite coffee shop, The Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> they both decide to come back home to help. As soon as they find each other again, they are reminded of their unspoken love and dreams about a possible future together, which never happened. Can they open their hearts to second chances for them and for their bridge? Bridge? 
and the movie's called The Bridge Part Two. <laughs> so, well, uh, uh, wait, before you go, I'm gonna, um, so do you think that, you know, like, if you think of uh, the original movie, you know, like, in any Hallmark original movie, they always have a happy ending, so yeah. why make a sequel? Exactly. So, then again, maybe if it, the whole movie was a two-parter. I'm gonna call Bullmark. You're gonna say Bullmark? And I'm gonna say the same thing. Wrong, wrong. It is a Hallmark original movie. It's a two-part movie, and I was so happy about this. I got to do more sequels Let's more often. Oh, well, uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, that's adorable. Th there's a there's a Jenny McCarthy movie where she made a trilogy of Christmas movies, and it's called Santa Baby. Oh no. And then the second one, guess what? It's called what? Uh, Santa Baby Two. Christmas oh. Maybe. <laughs> But I can't use it now since I told you about yeah, it. Yeah, Santa Baby 2, Christmas Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then Santa Baby 3, uh, No Vaccinations. I'm Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh, Scott. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And speaking of ridiculous, we have a movie I want to show. And of course, today is oh. I feel Wednesday. I, uh, Special. It's, it's special Wednesday because I don't have flagship this week. Um, but I do have flagship Friday this week, but of course, um, I want to sh show a little, we'll have a little more fun. L like a couple sweet videos this week, a couple just highlighting the best of our after school programs and at idea. MCAT um, education programs. Yeah. And this one probably doesn't reflect the best of it because it's <laughs> super violent. <laughs> but it's a hilarious video and it's starring um, the kids um, from our uh, past summer camps and our stop animation camp. And it's great. These kids are hilarious. Aww, I can't and, wait to see it. Um, without further ado, uh, here is Alien, but with a cat. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. One, two, three. We're gonna take the heart out now. What are we gonna put inside? We're gonna put in science. I don't have a good feeling about this, guys. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. I don't have a good feeling about that. not anarchists. I don't know about this, guys. It's not like we need the heart anyways. Listen, one more slip up and I'm gonna report you to the board. Not the board. You need me more than you think. That may be so, but science trumps violence. Well said. Well, I guess I didn't have a good feeling about that. Let's add some amino acids. Okay, it's taking up the amino acids. I have an idea. Now bear with me. Yeah, it kind of seems like basic garbage science. I don't care! Oh no! No, not the sriracha! I knew I had a bad feeling about this! Dude, maybe you should just go take five or get some air, something like that. Okay, thanks. I knew this was not a good idea. Man, do you really think Donald Trump's gonna win? You mean Donald Trump? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is it breathing?
You just gotta keep your heads and everything will be okay. they got my brother. Yeah, sorry about the whole Sriracha thing. I think I hear something. We should totally, totally walk towards it. Don't yeah. take any weapons or anything. Whoa, it's so red in there. Brother, scientist, it's your fault that thing's alive. No, 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 no. I had a bad feeling about this at the beginning, all right? It's his fault. He put the unidentified element into the cat. I thought it would work, and I was right. I thought it would bring the cat back to life. Well, sometimes dead is better. Well, who are you? Well, I have a bad feeling about this guy. Says the people who just got their lives saved. I'm G.I. G.I. Joe. Your name's really Joe. <clears throat> Sorry, I had something in my throat. What kind of GI doesn't have a gun? In my hands, anything's a weapon. Well, where's your government-issued gun? The cat took it. Well, cats don't have opposable thumbs, so what would they need it for? Hold on. Is it still where you lost it? Hmm. Let's go. We need a distraction. I'll do it. one, right guys? You're lucky to have me here. Uh, guys, I, I don't know if this is a bad time, but I have a stomach. <laughs> 
I was freaking out, you guys. That was so scary. Scott, you did a great job. That was a good little video. Nice. I'd say that was the best one yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. These kids are like totally down and whatnot. Yeah, and they, they like just... doing the they like doing the live action and they like to add. And there's like let's make like... a sequel. It's like uh, we don't have to make a sequel. We make something else, something new. Yeah. But I, I I mean of course I do like the uh, the one where the creepy creeper. Yeah. It's pretty funny. What the girls is like. I didn't say I, I loved puppies. Yeah. I didn't uh... say I loved puppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this yeah this, I like this one and it's it's so good to have like it's just not random like running around and yelling and screaming. No. Like they. <laughs> like to do yeah they love running around and i had it like calling he got at the beginning it's too bad i know he didn't want to do it no 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 it, like i was just like i just grabbed calling the side I was like okay we're just gonna film a couple scenes with you oh yeah and then he was like okay then he just <laughs> left and then he just he like i had to trick him out of a couple shots because he was in the um he was in this room when we were filming all the interior oh, yeah. shots in this room and he was just gonna send the computer over there <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> i'm editing <laughs> come on colin did he put together his videos yeah, he might, he, he'll need a little more help next week for sure. Okay. Yeah. That'll have to be you because I have to be at the mall on Saturday. Yep. She's going to be at the mall and we do All a non-profit Saturday. appreciation day at the mall and it's from like 10 a.m. to like 5 p.m. or until Noel. I think it's like 9 to 6. Weren't we there from like, we were there. I'm, yeah, we were there for quite a while. Like, I we left, we from, left like, an hour early. No one cared. We, yeah. we left early. No one we cared. Did leave <laughs> they said it was like, you're not supposed to leave until like everyone else leaves. It's like, no, we'll, we'll no. leave. We've been, like, we no were one, there no one cared. It's just going to be me all day. Yeah. yeah. And some 16 year old. Yeah. Great. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Finn, and he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a, uh, I don't know. I don't know either. So. He's, he's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah. He's, he's Rick's son. Yeah. Yep. Rick, who gives us all the art clips that we show on our show, it's going to be his son who's going to be joining you for this Saturday's uh, all non-profit, day. Appreciation non-profit Appreciation Day, appreciation day at the South at Gate the mall. mall. Yep. And that's where we're going to promote more of our summer camps, our stop animation. Our mm-hmm. stop animation drop-in is every Saturday into Memorial Day weekend. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's been kind of low numbers. And I told Joel, I was like, hey, you know, we'll just kind of keep it going and see how many kids. Because yeah. as the weather gets nicer, less kids want to. They want to go outside. They want to be outside yeah. and do their thing. I know, but when it's cold, we definitely get a lot of kids. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you might have some nice kids, uh, but uh, yeah. we might. who knows? Yeah. It just depends. It's very true. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Yeah. But, you know, you, I think that's our show. Yeah, that is it's, our show. It's, it's been a great one. Yeah, we, I've, we've been vamping and just talking about little things here and there. <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to force myself to get to the very end. But, you know, I, you know, 55 minutes is a good, I mean, solid show. I mean, we could show. chat for six more minutes. Yeah, I'm good. I don't know But what we, we can about. chat about Wake Up Missoula if you log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice that we made you write it out twice. We have a Facebook page. We have a Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check Missoula Community Access Television out on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, just go to MCAT.org. Yep. And if you're interested in being a part of MCAT and all our tel- mm, ugh, ugh, sorry. And our all our television glory, that just kind of threw me off. I have to start over again. So if you want to be a part of MCAT and all our glory, you can come to our uh, orientation, which happens every second Wednesday of the month, uh, which is happening two weeks from today. From today, two weeks, everyone. Yep. See it at five thirty. You can call two, ahead and just say, "Hey, five, I want to show for orientation." Thirty. Um, I mean, orientation. We, we show you how to make your own TV show. Yep. Great. Yeah, I can't wait. It's wild, you guys, and everyone is very educated. Scott is educated. I'm very educated. He knows exactly what he's doing, and we all do. So come on down. Yep. <laughs> but okay. of course, if you want to sign up for summer camps, you're going to go to MCAT.org and click on the link that's on the picture yep. for summer camps. But yeah. without sign further up. ado... We have lots of room. Bring yep. your kids down. We already have a bunch of kids already signed up already. Oh, good. Yeah. Yay! Okay, great. Yeah. But without further ado... <laughs> um, um, thanks for, for joining us today. Yeah. Um, thanks, Jordan Lyons from Missoula Agent Service. If you have an estate that needs planning, check it out. It's happening in April. You can log on to the Missoula Agent website. MissoulaAgingServices.org to find mm-hmm. out more information about how you can plan for 
your future and for your children's like for your legacy for your children. Yes, and so your kids won't fight over stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like you're getting this and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I mean, what if I had a will it? and I would just tell my kids, it's like it's going to government. Yeah, no, yeah, it's right. Like the worst thing ever. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it all the charity. Yeah, I, I like I, I, my mom. I was talking to my mom. And they, okay, so now we're advancing some more. Now we're advancing. All right, so I told my mom, as it's like, oh, my mom's like, I'm gonna give you all the money. I was like, oh, sweet, nice. It's like, um, like my eldest sister doesn't need it. My second sister wouldn't appreciate it. You, you just get it. It's like, sweet. That's and, awesome. And then I told her, like, do you want me to make like a scholarship in your name? Maybe like a pharmacy scholarship yeah. for the college? She's like, I don't want no one to get else getting my money. Hilarious. Good. So Scott ever gets his, all of his parents' money. But the ladies, I, he's single. <laughs> first I had to get rid of him. <laughs> So Scott's gonna kill his parents and get his money, and then yeah. he'll take you all out on dates. But don't worry, they 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 don't watch this show. No, my parents don't. They have no idea. <laughs> 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 uh, so for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp, and nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McVoy. You already know who I am. <laughs> Here's Asap Adonai. We'll see you guys all Friday morning. Mm -hmm.